you're going to locate the movement of the water. Now, it's just kind of flowing just back and forth through the water uh, for the rock area. All right, now we know back here, this is kind of a big shelf. So keep your strokes very parallel. See, I'm going back and forth, but they're very, if you put a line across here, you know, every shelf is going to be parallel to the top and the bottom of the canvas. That's what makes it look flat. So now I just dry brush this across here like this. Take your finger and kind of smudge it a little. Now I'm going to dry brush over. I'm kind of wiping my brush off right here. It's a little dark area, but I'm going to dry brush over. The water's going to fall over this dark area. And then it kind of skips around and comes over here to this dark area. All right, and then when it hits the water, then it's going to flatten back out again and maybe got some little splashes here and there. See, I'm just kind of, don't start angling like this. Keep your strokes very parallel, folks, okay? This is critical. Be the top, the water's gonna flow over. Now, sometimes the bigger the brush, the better. For some of this, I'm going to switch to my um, number 10 again here. And I'm going to take the white. I'm going to put a little bit of blue in it, a little bit of green. Oops, got some brown in there. You don't want that. Take a little bit of hooker's green. The blue. I want to. I want the water to have a little more of a, gr a bluish green color now. <coughs> So right here, see this little shelf right here? Okay, we've got the flat part at the top. And you drag your brush over very carefully. This is called dry brush blending. Now, we've talked about that many times. See, this comes over like this. And right there's a spot between the big rock and this rock. Now, we're going to emphasize all this stuff. Now, remember, you guys, we're just, just getting started. Right, there's a little minor shelf there, and then it flattens out. Maybe it kind of meanders on down around here, flattens out and goes around this rock here, goes around these rocks here, back up here. Right there's a little fall between these two. See, all I've done now is kind of locate stuff. I'm not really trying to create a perfect water situation yet. Now, go back in here just a touch. There's a little bit of a coming over the edge of this rock right there. There we go. Now, what this does is this helps me realize what I've got to do with my rock formation. Let's come down here in the foreground. I just kind of ripple. This looks so good. Looks just like ripples in the water. It's just a very subtle color. All right, I'm just making sure everything's kind of soft and blended. And I stand back, and now I can start seeing the.